Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends, and uh, it got past me, of course. Anyway, as you can see, this is that discovery I was looking around for. This is the Tricyclone, the dangerous triplet of cyclones. Sailors have dreaded the legendary Tricyclone for centuries. It's said that if you encounter it, all you can do is pray. However, it's also said that in the center lies the, the treasures of a thousand air pirates. Yeah, somehow I think that's a bit of a fabrication. Um, anyway, it's not really too hard to find. It sort of goes in a pattern from, like, down here to sort of up in this direction. It sort of just goes really along a line like that. So it's pretty easy to actually run across. The problem is now I have to go all the way back around to get back into Exitaka, but at least we're fairly close. And the good news is it's also really easy to spot because it's uh, very dark against the light background. Alright, so let's pretty much just keep following this sky rift around and we'll, uh eventually make our way back to where the iron net was. Then we'll go back and sell our discovery information at the uh, ship parts dealer. It's kind of flying around the area. I am going the right way, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's like I didn't recognize this side of the mountain. Alright, so here is the entrance. Let's make our way back in. Say hello to Exitaka one more time. And uh, thankfully, the black market ship parts dealer is just right over here. It's that ship that is in the distance, and now is not so in the distance. All right, so let's go ahead and sell this. Unfortunately, we can't collect the bounty for defeating Gordo the Round. He is actually one of the bounties, as you can see here. Um, but this guy apparently doesn't want to pay us for defeating him, so we'll have to wait on that a bit. But we can sell all of our info, which, as you can see, is worth quite a bit. We're really going to be rolling in the gold. I mean, we kind of already are, but. And we can really just sell all this and make a ton of money. Nice. Actually pushed us over 80,000. So we're doing really good in that department. Alright, yeah. No, he said some other things. Basically, I think he just says since the balloons have pulled out, he doesn't really have a lot of business anymore. So <laughs> he might have to find another line of work, which I guess that makes sense. Uh, but anyway, now we've turned in all our discoveries, which means we're ready to head back to the northeast yet again and um, actually make our way into some Valuan territory. So at this point, when you're not searching for discoveries, it goes pretty quick. It looks like it's kind of a long way on the map, um, but it turns out you actually move very quickly, so you can see it's already starting to get darker. So let's keep going again. We're probably getting pretty close. Let's make sure to avoid that ship. Um, you can actually run away from random ship battles, I believe, so... It's not the end of the world if you get caught by one, but, I mean, really, it'd be a giant waste of time, so... Alright, so it seems as though we have arrived again. Let's see if these are some fish we can... Oh, no, that's a ship. Actually, I think that's a ship you just talked to. That doesn't fight you. Yeah. North Ocean is a vital trade route that brings a wealth of new goods from the new continent back to Valua. Unfortunately, where there's gold to be made, there's always pirates that want to steal it. Be careful. Well, at least these guys don't want to fight me like everybody else around here. Alright, so here we are, back in Valua again. We did just come here, but we got some discoveries and left, pretty much, so... Uh, now we're actually going to make some progress in the area. Alright, so wherever you want to go can actually be a little bit tough to find because the landscape of this place, everything just seems so similar, you know? It's always just these kind of yellow and grayish mountains. Uh, but where you want to go is actually over here to the east. There's kind of these ruins over here. When we check this out, we can see this is the Maw of Tardis, so let's check this place out. Alright, so let's walk on down. Looks like there's some kind of giant metal ceiling here or something. That chunk of metal's huge. Beneath it is the Maw of Tardis. It's an entrance to the series of caverns. These caverns are the resting place of the Yellow Crystal as well as the Yellow Gigas. The seal was built by my people after the Reigns of Destruction in order to contain the Yellow Gigas. Now the Yellow Gigas lies dormant. Good. Keep that thing locked up. Well, I know this means that the Gigas can't get out, but it also means that we can't get in. Hmm, I don't think there's any way we can get through this seal. What should we do? Hey, don't move! The punishment for trespassing near the Great Seal is death. Oh, well, <laughs> these random soldiers want to try their luck against the people who've defeated, like, a few admirals of the Armada and all that. Well, alright, I guess whatever works. 
Uh, these are the Enforcers. They're really not that tough. They're basically just regular enemies, except maybe a little bit stronger. Um, so let's just get off some regular attacks here. We can handle this battle pretty much like anything else. Let's switch everybody over to blue here. I'm not really concerned, really, about trying to learn spells that much anymore. I mean, most of the useful ones we've pretty much already gotten, so... Yeah, you can see they do have a little bit of health, so it might take a few turns to take them down. Um, they've also got a somewhat annoying special attack called Grenade that's, well, kind of like a grenade. It's, you know, it's a range type thing. And it does quite a bit of damage, so you might need to watch out for that a little bit. But overall, this is basically just a slightly tougher random battle. I mean, you can even tell by the music. I just play their regular battle theme, so... So yep, there's Grenade. It did about 400 to Drachma, which is kind of respectable, I guess. But, I mean, you're really in no danger of dying here unless you came in with, like, no health. Alright, so most of them are pretty much wounded, except for that one over there. Um, a Lambda Burst will take down the two uh, guys that are in critical condition. And then probably just one or two more attacks on the other guy. And from Vice, just one. And we'll be done. Yep, like I said, just basically a random battle. Really nothing to worry about. We, we surrender. Please, don't kill us. Tell us how to open the seal and we'll let you live. That's impossible. Our entire army couldn't open it. Our commanders aren't concerned with the yellow crystal right now because it's already in Valua and it's safe from you. Hmm, that makes sense. They'll go after the other crystals first. Something's not right. You'd think that this area would be more heavily guarded. Where are the rest of your men? They're preparing for the raid on Nasrad. What? is gonna start a war with Nasser? Uh, I think so. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know any of the details. And there was a giant arc whale. It destroyed a few of our ships recently. One of our admirals is hunting it. A giant arc whale? Ractum is here. Answer me. I don't know for certain. Some fog rolled in yesterday, and there were sightings of a huge creature. That means it's probably still in the area. I have to go after Rachnum. I've been following you kids around looking for the crystals all this time, but now it's your turn to follow me. Well, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get to the yellow crystal anytime soon. Okay, Drachma, we'll go with you. Very well. Now, the time has come for me to finally face Rachnum. He was the reason that I got the Harpoon Cannon in the first place. I'm gonna kill him or die trying. Ah, well, alright, seems Ragnum is in the area, so we're gonna sort of put our quest for the crystals on hold. Can't get in here anyway. Now, you can hear cupels going a little bit crazy. There are actually a couple things to pick up. Um, if we check this corner over here, we'll find the first one. Somewhere, there it is. And you can see it's a little bit different. This is a charm. We'll get into what exactly that is in a little bit. Uh, believe it or not, there's actually three to pick up in this area. Uh, the next one is over here somewhere. There it is. And the final one's a little bit trickier to find. Okay, I'm walking up the slope. Uh, you want to kind of come over to this side and uh, check around a bit. Yeah, like I said, it's a little bit trickier to find. Well, come on now. <laughs> for some reason, I'm not having... Okay, there it is. It's really picky for some reason. Uh, but anyway, yes, the Chalms. Um, let's go ahead and check what it says in the item box here. Uh, now let's go ahead and use the Sail Seed. Yeah, that'll work, whatever. I didn't even see who I used that on. Uh, it's a contaminated form of Cham that causes Cupel to regurgitate all Chams. Which sounds bad, but... Kind of, the way Cupel works is he sort of has different paths he can go on. Um, if you remember, we picked up an Aberic Cham. Basically... The combination of Chams and Abric Chams that you use sort of determines which path he goes on. So if you get, you know, someone down the line and you want to sort of restructure him, you can use a Chom um, in order to get everything back and sort of customize it to your liking. And there's three, so you've got plenty of chances to um, go back through and, you know, make sure you get what you want. But, uh, for now, we're fine, so we're just going to leave them in the inventory. And we'll probably be using them later and maybe trying to get Cupel down a slightly different path that we're on now. Um, since we're pretty much just on the basic one, you know, because we haven't had any Abric Chams, so... Um, except for that one that we just got. We'll need to rest up before we attack Rackton. There's always a thick fog surrounding him. He knocks ships out of the sky, and they never see him coming.
We'll hide in this canyon and ambush him at the first sign of fog. Tonight, we sleep here. Drop anchor, boy. Later that night, my heart was racing with excitement. I was too anxious to even get a wink of sleep. Rackham is nearby. That's all I could think as I lie there, trying to sleep. Doesn't look like I'm going to get any shut-eye. Maybe I'll take a little walk to try and calm myself down. Alright, well, let's do that. This used to be the storage area, but Aka and Fina now use it as their bedroom. Ugh, I swear, I didn't steal anything. <laughs> Sounds like Aka's talking in her sleep again. That's going to be really annoying for Fina if it's both of their bedrooms. Alright, so we do have a destination here. We're not just walking around randomly. And we do want to head out to the deck. Captain. Is that you, boy? What are you doing up at this hour? You should be getting some rest. I was about to say the same thing. It's the middle of the night. What's that? <laughs> Open it. It's full of... Feathers. My son collects... used to collect those. You had a son? Aye, about the same age as you. A long time ago, I ran a fishing boat in North Ocean. My son was learning to be a sailor. He used to come out with us. His name was Jack. He was a small boy who liked to help out. The other sailors, they used to call him Little Jack. One day, we went out fishing as usual. Then Rackton came. We didn't know how powerful Rackton was, and we tried to fight him. But there was no way a fishing boat stood a chance against that thing. Rackton destroyed our ship. I barely managed to survive. But my crew and Jack weren't so lucky. Last time I saw Jack, he was clutching some feathers as he fell, like they'd stop him from falling. I could still hear my son scream as he fell. From that day on, I swore revenge on Rackton, for my crew and for Jack. I need to kill Rackton to avenge my crew and my son. <laughs> Getting long-winded in my old age. Don't let it bother you. It's my problem. Captain. This fog, could it be? <laughs> Boy, go wake the others. It's him. Ragnum is here. Alright, so it seems Ragnum is in the area. Gonna have to go look for him, but, of course, I'm gonna be saving that for next time, so let's, uh... Wow, cool, I caught it right as a lightning flash was happening. That's awesome. <laughs> so let's go ahead and save here. And we will overwrite this one right here. And I know this is kind of a uh, cliffhanger spot to leave off. We're right before uh, the big confrontation with Rackdom. Learned a lot more about uh, Drachma's backstory and why he's uh, doing all this. So, yeah, this is uh, it's definitely some good stuff, and I'm sure some exciting times are about to happen. But, like I said, we're going to save that for next time. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.